pretty awesome. I love saying hi to people from different parts of the world. So guys, um, this this week we're talking about the fruit of the spirit. You know, just different the different attributes. Um, probably you know spoken mainly in as a list in Galatians chapter five. But I wanna I wanna remind you like. Do you, do you know what's inside of you? I remember, um, I remember I, I watched this movie years ago and there's this guy with, you know, sitting down with a psychologist and the psychologist is like, um, I can't remember the guy's name, but he's like, oh, hey, good morning. Good seeing you. Thank you for connecting. Good morning, Robert Higgins from Auburndale. Good to see you. Good morning from Dallas, Texas. Awesome. Good to see you guys. Thank you for connecting. So I, I can't remember the the name of this guy. Uh, good morning from Ocala, Florida. Woo, awesome. Thanks for connecting, guys. Um, so I was watching this movie a few years ago, and this guy is with a psychologist, and the psychologist is like, you know, who are you? And this guy, you know, who's sitting across from the psychologist, he's like, uh, well, I'm, I'm just like paraphrasing because I don't remember exactly what what the answer was but um she was like well i was born in new york and then the therapist is like no i didn't ask you where you're from who are you and then the guy was like ah well i'm a lawyer no i didn't ask you your profession who are no and i didn't ask you what you do uh, who are you so uh oh somebody's watching from work in dallas texas and from south africa Ooh, that's really different uh time from uh from here Awesome. Thank you for connecting. That's great. And so, you know, sometimes we have we have a hard time, you know, pinpointing uh who we are and stuff. We um sometimes we just like relate with our nationality, with our skin color, with our age, our profession, our status, you know, whether we're single or married or sometimes we just identify with bad things that we've gone through, guys, you know, like I'm I'm an alcoholic or I'm divorced or I've gone through, you know, bankruptcy or whatever. So, um, I just want to remind you about some things that I find in scripture, um, uh, that are actually inside of you right now. Okay. So, um, some people never find out who they are today. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you, this is not a class on identity, but I do want to tell you about some really great, awesome stuff that's inside of you right now. Okay. So. I'm going to start off with this scripture, which is uh, Philemon um, chapter, uh, verse 6, which some people say, call it Philemon, some people say Philemon, um, I'll leave it up to you, well, let's just call it Phil, okay, let's go to Phil verse 6, so Phil verse 6 says <laughs> that the communication of your faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. It's pretty wordy, but don't worry, we're, we're going to break it down and, and we're, we're going to find out what this verse says. Okay, another another verse, another version, uh, the NIV says, I pray that your partnership with us in the faith may be effective in deepening your understanding, recognizing um, of every good thing we share for the sake of Christ. Okay, basically, guys, what, it, what it's saying, and I, I've spent some time studying this scripture Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Um, what that is saying really is that your faith becomes operative. Your, your faith becomes effectual. Your faith becomes powerful. It works when you acknowledge all the good stuff that is inside of you. The people that don't know they have, they're carrying, you know, God, don't know they're carrying, you know, the presence of God, the anointing of God, the favor of God, you know, for anything that you're doing in life. Uh, they're not effective. Their faith is not effective. They f their faith is not confident. Okay, remember we live by faith. It's something that we use every single day of our lives as believers. That's why we are called believers, not doubters, not just livers, like like living every day, you know, just without anything, you know, we're, we're called believers. And um, your faith becomes powerful, effective, as you acknowledge all the good stuff that is inside of you every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. Once you realize that you have these great things inside of you, all this potential, you know, just ready to blow up and just ready to go, you start doing awesome things. I want to tell you, you never rise beyond the comprehension of yourself. 
you never rise beyond the comprehension of yourself. If you see yourself, you know, as a bug, you know, just crawling, you know, in the dirt and stuff and not being able um, to do anything in life, you know, that's how you're going to be acting. But really, if you acknowledge all the awesome things that are inside of you, you're going to do great. Uh, Romans 15 verse 14 says, Paul is talking to this church and, and he says, And I myself also am persuaded of you, my brethren, that you also are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able to admonish one another. You know, the Apostle Paul, he told the church, the church in Rome was not perfect by any means. You know, pretty much most of his church, most of his letters to the churches, uh, he had to correct some situations, fix some things. Um, but he still told them, hey, I know that you guys are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, and you are able to admonish, encourage, help one another. Okay. Um, talking about the fruit of the Spirit, guys, I'm just going to go through the list. I don't want to finish this session without talking about it. But it says that the fruit of the Spirit, the result of the Lord's presence inside of us, uh, it says is love which is unselfish concern for others, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Okay, so all these things, guys, if you have given your life to Christ, if you're a believer, um, if, you're, if you have placed your trust in Jesus, uh, these things are inside of your spirit being every day, all the time, always ready to go. When you don't feel loved, you're full of love. You're full of the love of God. When, you, uh, when you're going through situations, you're full of peace. There's an inner peace given to you by God. Okay, Remember that you have the Prince of Peace inside of you. Remember that the Lord Jesus told His disciples, Say, I'm leaving, but I'm leaving my peace with you. And I'm giving it not like the world gives it, but I'm giving you like true peace. So there's peace inside of you. There's joy Anytime you feel depressed, um, anytime you feel, you know, down or low or, you know, just not wanting to leave your bedroom, um, there's joy inside of you. And we all as believers, we have to learn how to tap into it. And um, you have patience, which <laughs> I, I love this one in the Amplified. It says, not the ability to wait, but how we act while waiting. <laughs> I think there's a lot of us that need a lot, of, you know, that need to act more in patience. We don't need more patience. We just need to act it out. And I, I guess what I what I do is like if I'm feeling down or something, I'm like, okay, Lord, I know that I have joy inside of my spirit right now. I know that there's joy in my heart, and in the name of Jesus, I just tap into it. I just um, draw it out in the name of Jesus, and I just receive it by faith and. Sometimes it takes a few minutes. Sometimes it may take me, you know, half an hour or something, you know, for that to, for me to start feeling it and just start getting recharged um, with all that, with with all the stuff, with all the fruit of the Spirit. But it is inside of you. And today my encouragement to you is to acknowledge every good thing that is inside of you. You're always full of peace. You're always full of joy. You're always uh, full of patience, full of goodness, full of kindness. Uh, full of faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, faith. Um, every every single one of these things are always in your new, uh, in your born again spirit. Okay, so God bless you guys. Remember that you're full of this stuff, um, and and uh, tap into it, enjoy it, uh, no matter what the circumstances are. Remember that we have peace because we trust in the Lord. And because we're, instead of paying attention to the circumstances around us and allowing ourselves to be affected by them, why not be affected by the circumstances of heaven? You know, why not be affected by what's going on over there? Which is always godly, always awesome stuff. God bless you. We love you from Colombia. Have a great day. And hey, recognize every good thing that's inside of you today.